let's learn about linear differential equations of higher order okay we've already seen how to solve a first order linear differential equation now we are going to find out the solutions for higher order linear differential equation so let's first look at what exactly is a linear differential equation we define a linear de as a differential equation in which the dependent variable and the derivatives are each of first degree and are never multiplied together okay so when you have a solution as y as some function of x then y is your dependent variable x is the independent variable okay so your dependent variable which is y should be having a degree of 1 as you can see in this case also all the derivatives should be having a degree of 1 okay as you can see in this particular equation and they should be never multiplied together okay so you should never have something like this okay this the derivative term and the dependent variable must never be multiplied okay when you have these two conditions met what you get is a linear differential equation okay a general form of a linear differential equation is as written on the screen okay you have d raised to power n y upon d x raised to power n plus a function of x into d raised to power n minus 1 upon dx raised to power n minus 1 plus another function of x into d raised to power n minus 2y upon dx raised to power n minus 2 so on up till you have a function of x into y equal to some another function of x okay so in between you have terms like p3x which is a function of x into d raised to power n minus 3y upon dx raised to power n minus 3 okay and what would be your second last term in left hand side over here over here you are going to have p n minus 1 x dy by dx okay so your derivatives are decreasing in power from n to 0 over here and you have a order of 1 over here okay so this is a nth order differential equation which is a nth order linear differential equation since it has all the derivatives having degree 1 the dependent variable is having a degree 1 and they are not multiplied together okay all these are functions of x okay so what is your first order linear differential equation we already know a first order linear differential equation if you derive it from this nth order it's going to be put n is equal to 1 you are going to have dy by dx plus all these terms would be zero okay because you are talking about first order differential equation so 1 minus 1 zero you do not have a zeroth order differential equation 1 minus 2 is minus 1 you do not have a minus first order differential equation so all these terms would be zero and finally you have this guy which is p1x into y which is some function of x okay so this is your first order linear differential equation which you must be familiar with it is also written as dy by dx plus px into y is equal to q of x okay where this capital x is q of x this you already know how to solve for okay 
so now we are going to deduce methods to solve higher order linear differential equation of this form okay now if we define a derivative operator as capital D which basically stands for derivative with respect to x then I can write this standard form of a nth order linear differential equation as d raised to power ny plus p1x d raised to power n minus 1y plus p2x d raised to power n minus 2y so on pnx into y is equal to a function of x okay so this is another way to represent a nth order linear differential equation where what is d raised to power n your d raised to power n is equal to d raised to power n upon dx raised to power n okay your capital D is d by dx your capital D raised to power n is essentially nth order derivative operation okay and hence you can write your general form of a linear differential equation having a order of n as like this okay now let's learn what is a homogeneous linear differential equation okay so a equation in which this guy is 0 that equation is said to be a homogeneous linear differential equation okay so whenever you have right hand side equal to 0 then you have a homogeneous linear differential equation so what is a homogeneous linear differential equation of order n it is d raised to power n y plus p1 x d raised to power n minus y plus p2 x d raised to power n minus 2 y so on p n x into y equal to 0 ok this is a linear homogeneous differential equation of order n okay similarly we also have a concept of linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay what is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients whoops let me just write it linear de with constant coefficients what's that it is a differential equation in which you have all of these guys each equal to some constant okay they are not all equal to a particular constant this could be k1 this could be k2 and so on and this could be kn okay so what is going to be a linear differential equation with constant coefficients it is going to be a equation of this type d raised to power n y plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 y plus k2 into d raised to power n minus 2 y so on you are going to have kn into y equal to some function of x okay just understand this is not a constant rather all these are constants for my equation to be a linear de with constant coefficients okay and what is a linear homogeneous DE with constant coefficients? A linear homogeneous differential equation 
विद कॉन्स्टेंट को इफिशियंट इज सिंपली अक्वेशन इन विच दिस गाय इज जीरो एंड ऑल दीज आर कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो माई इक्वेशन इज गोइंग टू बी ऑफ द टाइप डी रेस टू पावर एन वाई प्लस के वन इन टू डी रेस टू पावर एन माइनस वन वाई प्लस के टू इन टू डी रेस टू पावर एन माइनस टू वाई सो ऑन के एन इन टू वाई इक्वल टू जीरो ओके दिस इज अ लीनियर होमोजीनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कॉन्स्टेंट को इफिशियंट ओके सो वी हैव बेसिकली सीन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके वन इज इन विच योर राइट हैंड साइड फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स इज जीरो विच इज नोन एज अ होमोजीनियस लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन द अदर इज in which all these guys are each equal to some constants and that is known as a linear differential equation with constant coefficients and the third variety is in which both these guys are constants and this guy is zero and that particular type is known as a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay now let's learn how to solve a linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients okay so i have a linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients over here let us suppose that i know that y1 and y2 are to particular solutions of this differential equation okay so y is equal to y1 and y is equal to y2 are two particular solutions therefore if you are going to replace y with y1 or y with y2 you are going to get zero right so what we have is d raised to power n y1 plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 y1 plus k2 into d raised to power n minus 2 y1 so on till kn into y1 is equal to 0 okay i have substituted y is equal to y1 in this equation and since y is equal to y1 is a solution of this equation on substitution this must be equal to 0 okay just like if you have a equation fx equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 a root of this equation then f of 3 must be equal to 0 okay the same concept we have followed over here now what i want to do is i want to multiply by a constant c1 throughout in this particular equation okay so what i have is c1 into this whole thing is equal to c1 into 0 which is anyways going to be equal to 0 okay so essentially what i get is d raised to power n c1 y1 plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 c1 y1 plus k2 into d raised to power n minus 2 c1 y1 so on kn into c1 y1 is equal to 0 okay similarly i can substitute y2 over here and what i would get is i am going to have y2 over here and when i am going to multiply with another constant let's say c2 what i am going to get is d raised to power n c2 y2 plus k1 d raised to power n minus 1 c1 
सी टू वाई टू प्लस के टू डी रेस टू पावर एन माइनस टू सी टू वाई टू सो ऑन अप टिल के एन इन टू सी टू वाई टू इक्वल टू जीरो ओके नाउ आई हैव बेसिकली टू इक्वेशन्स लेट्स जस्ट से दिस इज माई इक्वेशन नंबर वन दिस इज माई इक्वेशन नंबर टू इफ आई एड दीज टू गाइज वॉट आई हैव इज डी रेस टू पावर एन सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू प्लस के वन इंटू डी रेस टू पावर एन माइनस वन सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू प्लस के टू इंटू डी रेस टू पावर एन माइनस टू सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू एंड सो ऑन अप टिल के एन इंटू सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एसेंशियली वॉट यू आर सींग इज सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू इज satisfying the given differential equation which is this d raised to power n into y plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 y plus k2 into d raised to power n minus 2 y so on kn into y equal to 0 okay this is the original differential equation and we realize that c1 y1 plus c2 y2 satisfies this equation which basically implies that c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is a root of this equation or in other words c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is a solution of this particular equation okay so whenever you have two particular solutions which are independent okay what do you mean by two independent solutions your two solutions are independent if you do not have y1 as some constant into y2 okay if you cannot express y1 and y2 like this then y1 and y2 are two independent solutions and whenever you have two independent solutions of a given linear differential equation which is homogeneous and having constant coefficients then c1 y1 plus c2 y2 which is any linear combination of these independent solution is also a solution of this differential equation okay so i'm just going to repeat this theorem again the fact is whenever you have two independent solutions y1 and y2 for a given linear differential equation which is homogeneous and having constant coefficients then a linear combination of these is also a solution of this given differential equation so a linear combination of these is all solutions of the type c1 into y1 plus c2 into y2 okay this is a linear combination of two independent solutions y1 and y2 you could have any value for c1 you could have any value for c2 these are two arbitrary constants so whenever you have two independent solutions y1 and y2 known to you for a given homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients then any linear combination of these two guys is also a solution for the given differential equation okay 
So, in order to find out a general solution, we must know the particular solutions. Okay, we must know y1 and y2 to get a general solution. Okay, just understand if you have an equation in which you have n arbitrary constants, then to form a differential equation out of it, you take nth order derivatives. Okay, you take derivatives up till nth order. Okay, so the converse of this, whenever you have a nth order differential equation, its general solution must have n constants. Okay. So, whenever you have a nth order differential equation, its general solution is going to contain n number of constants. Okay. So, over here I have a nth order differential equation. Therefore, the solution or rather the general solution of this guy must have n coefficients. Okay. So, if I know n independent particular solutions y1, y2, y3, so on up till yn, then my complete solution is going to be c1y1 plus c2y2 plus c3y3, so on cn y n okay this is the solution or rather the general solution of this linear differential equation this guy okay i'll just copy it and i'm going to paste it over here so if you have a differential equation of this type okay and you know n independent particular solution for this differential equation then the complete solution or the general solution for this differential equation is a linear combination of these n particular solutions okay therefore to get a solution of this differential equation you have to find out the n particular solutions. Okay. So, how you are going to find out n particular solutions? Let's see. So, here is my given differential equation. I can write it as d raised to power n plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 look you have y common everywhere okay so i can take this y outside and i can write this as d raised to power n plus k1 into d raised to power n minus 1 plus k2 into d raised to power n minus 2 so on up till kn into y is equal to 0 